Hello, Peter, and Hi. welcome to the third edition of Data Innovation Summit here in Stockholm. We are very pleased uh, to have you with us. Before we um, go deeper with further questions, can you please tell us more about yourself, uh, your uh, background? Sure. My name is Peter Johnson. I'm born in uh, Karlskrona, which is a town south of Sweden. I'm not from Stockholm. I spent about nine years in the United States going to school and things, and uh, now I've been almost 20 years in the business intelligence and data warehouse industry. Yeah. 20 years? <laughs> almost. <laughs> okay. Um, Peter, you come from Tableau, yeah. and um, Tableau has been doing a number of seminars in the Nordics mm -hmm. and um, in Europe, focusing on uh, 2018 BI trends. Yes. Um, can you share with us a bit about the most important trends you see uh, when it comes to this in 2018? Yes, uh, a couple of the most uh, uh, important ones we see, the emergence of the data workers. We see uh, a lot of data scientists, data engineers yeah. become important. Some organizations even appoint uh, chief data officers. So data has become very uh, important in titles, in work and, and responsibilities with organizations. That's a trend. We see uh, the emergence of NLP, natural language processing, that we could uh, sit with a, a software and can type in a question, show me the revenue of uh, yeah. 2018 for this region and it will show us the result by asking a questions with natural language uh, typing and uh, and the third one of course we see uh, the emergence of uh, artificial intelligence machine learning uh, we heard it here all day and I mean definitely it's the big trend of uh, of our industry yeah. well um, you mentioned artificial intelligence and it's a topic that everybody is talking about as you said yourself yes. so uh, but this is both an opportunity, mm. but also it raises certain concerns. Yeah. Right? Um, what is your take on this? My take on this is that it couldn't come quick enough. Really, I mm. think one of the big uh, consulting companies, McKinsey, wrote a report where they said less than 5% of the global jobs available could be fully automated with artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning. But more than 60% of all the jobs available mm -hmm. have like half of the components or 30 percent that could be uh, parts of them uh, could be uh, automated yeah. so i think it could help for example heavy lifting monotonous jobs dangerous jobs that we want machines to do and you could save up a lot of time and, and, and effort for for humans i think it's going to be very very good for us <laughs> overall it will not um, steal jobs it will make jobs automated yeah um what is the law working on right now we're working on a number of uh, very uh, good things. <laughs> some of these that I can I, uh, talk about and some are still secret, but we're working on uh, self-service data preparation and uh, data modeling uh, solution called Maestro. Right now it's codenamed Maestro. Mm -hmm. We will probably release it in April, but it's still in beta. So, uh, we have it available so uh, all you people who are looking can actually download a beta version and test it. We're also working on putting in natural language processing and artificial intelligence even more into the product to help our users to come with suggestions of what charts to use, what tables to join and, and get suggestions for things. So mm -hmm. those are things we uh, are um, So it just came to my attention that you have been active going to most of the universities in Sweden holding workshops and yeah. seminars on analytics, visualization, data storytelling. So. Um, in my opinion, data and analytics literacy is crucial for mm. future workforce. So, um, when we heard about it, it was um, um, happy to hear about it. So, what was the idea behind it? First of all, I think it's, it's fun to meet students. I mean, it was over 20 years ago that I was in school, but they are smart, they are eager, they understand things so quick, so it's really, it's... Uh, it's interesting for someone like me to just meet students and, and young people like that. But also we have an academic program and Tableau had for many, many years that we actually give Tableau software free to universities, to students and staff, so they can use that with their projects, for visualization, for statistics, for a number of things. So these workshops are us meeting them and saying, is there anything else we can do to help you uh, use it more? It's, um, That's great. Um, Peter, thank you very much for this interview and thank you for being part of Data Innovation Summit. My pleasure. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much.